welcome to the Logic Box with me, Jones Iwa. I am currently in Ghana. I've been here for the past week now. I've got a few days left and then I'm off ski back to the UK. Today on the show, um, I have wonderful people here, um, Ghanaians, of course, and uh, we're going to talk about a subject that a lot of people have been discussing, especially in the UK with the year of return. We're looking at the legacy and what it meant for Ghanaians and also the people that came to Ghana. Did we get much out of it or do you think it was pointless? Anyway, on the show today we have Kwesi, Pamela, Eugene and Jeffrey. Welcome to the Logic Box guys. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm excited because um, I'm in Ghana and I've had the opportunity to do this. Usually we're stuck in a room somewhere in the UK, but we're here. So the year of return, I'm fascinated by this because it made huge headlines across the world. We've had celebrities come to Ghana, we've had non-Ghanaians come to Ghana, and also Ghanaians come to Ghana, such as myself. So let me come to you first, Pamela. The year of return. Um, do you think it was a good initiative? And do you think it was successful? And if not, what do you think needed to be done? Well, um, I'll start off by saying the year of return 2020 yeah. is not the first of its kind. The country has been celebrating the year of return in years back. But this time around, it was very significant in the fact that it marked exactly 400 years mm -hmm. since the first slave was taken out of, you know, the shores of Ghana to, you know, West, West Virginia. Virginia. Exactly. So it was very, very significant for us to really celebrate it and put together a great year calendar of activities to mark 400 years. So to me, it was a great initiative put together by the authorities of this land, especially the presidency and, of course, the Ghana Tourism Authority. This would be my first comment on the year of return. I'm sure when we come back, I'll tell you what I think went right, yeah. what I think can be improved, and how much we made, if only the figures are right. The ones that are well, according to reports, mm -hmm. um, I think the country made about three billion US dollars from the year of return. Which is remarkable. I mean, it, it is great money. If, if indeed that's how much we made as a country, that is great, great money. But you ask yourself, how is that going to improve the tourism in this country? Because this is pure tourism. Mm -hmm. And if we've been able to rake in this amount of money, how are we going to see change in infrastructure? How are we going to see change in everything in the country? That's okay. The Eugene? <laughs> well, me normally, I look at the different side of everything. I didn't know about Year of Return until I think Sarkozy made mention about it. I was in Ghana, all right, but I didn't. It was just like that, just something trending. We just didn't know. So all of a sudden, you hear T.I. in Ghana, mm -hmm. uh, New in Ghana, and then it just took off. So we're just following. As to revenue whatsoever, honestly, I didn't even hear anything about it. So it was big stars coming to Ghana and all that. That's the only thing I can say. And, and I think for we benefiting, or at least we, we projected Ghana. Yeah, Ghana was almost all over. Everybody was trying to come to Ghana. We heard at a, at a point, visits to Ghana got finished. Yeah, you wasted. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that's the only thing I can say about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeff. Um, well, I think, I, think, I think it was a good initiative. And like Pamela said, um, they made revenue. I didn't know year of return was happening. I, I know it was something that was happening, but I think we can all agree this was the biggest one. Yeah. Yeah. And like she said, with the money that they made in terms of revenue, are they going to use it for the right stuff? Are they going to use it for the infrastructure? Or is it just going to go somewhere that we won't see? Do you get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but in terms of putting Ghana on the map, like Eugene said, I think I think it's a good initiative because Ghana is Ghana is known, but for other things like uh, soccer, yeah, for example, like we're known for playing soccer. But yeah. I think for the first time, it's 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 just come to Ghana, come and have fun, come and see, come and see what Ghana is like. Mm -hmm. It's like actually coming to Ghana to come and learn about Ghana, not just soccer. Okay. Crazy. Yeah. So yeah. Um. I remember, I think earlier this year, earlier last year, I think you still said 2020. It's 2019. 2019. Yeah, it <laughs> um, I remember somewhere around okay. March, I had Kojinji on my show, so we were talking and asking about oh, what, what's your thought about 
the year of return. And it was like, oh, oh, it's a nice initiative your, your company is coming up with. <laughs> okay, could you enjoy that? <laughs> so it was like, okay, so it was there. Okay, um, I think we had an invitation from the ministry to come for a press conference about it. It wasn't, it didn't look like a good idea at the time. Um, I remember um, this same year of return, they handed me tickets to Edward Blagoji okay. to circulate to bloggers to come for a conference. Nobody uh -huh. came for it. So from the beginning, it looked like it wasn't anything serious. As Eugene rightly said, until Sarkozy mm -hmm. went to the BETs and acknowledged that if you have to come to Africa, you indeed have to come to Africa, but if you're coming to make sure Ghana is your destination, then we started paying attention to it. Even before that, we had a whole lot of actors coming to Ghana. I remember, um, is it Jai White? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. was in Ghana. A couple of Anthony actors Anthony Anderson, like, yeah. Were, yeah. were there as well. Yeah. So we just later got to know that Boris Kojo actually yeah. got a contract to bring in a couple of these Hollywood guys yeah. to commemorate and all. Yeah. So um, everything came to light in December. And I was still attributed to the man Sakode for making it very popular. Okay. So I wasn't surprised when he was um, um, announced as the year of return ambassador okay. by the ministry very late. I think it was in November. <laughs> and the thing is supposed to end in December. So it was like, okay, so what's going to happen within a month? I thought it was just going to be two events, three, four. But then it turned out to be the whole of December, actually even in January. We had a couple of events still around. And it didn't cut across only circular events. Of course, Rafa Holly from Saka, there a couple mm -hmm. of other events. Tina Fest, they were there. Um, Joe Metal had his, con uh, his concert as well, the 25th. They were there as well to support. Okay. And I think they are still around, though, in January. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's, 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 it's a good way to start. Before Ghana gets such a big name to the world, then it's soccer. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we all know where our team stands. We are still trying to bring back the love. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's something different aside soccer taking Ghana there. Right? So, it's a good look for Ghana. Um, I'm hearing the figure for the first time. Yeah. As to how transparent that is, that will be for another day. Mm -hmm. But what are we going to use that money for? Are we going to um, plow back, put it back into the year of return now? I know it's been extended to beyond the return. Beyond the return. Beyond the return. <laughs> yes. What is going to happen beyond the return? Yeah. We're still waiting for. Is it going to uh, still? Uh, is it going to revolve around or be pivot around uh, entertainment and creative arts, or is it going to be around something different this time around? And th and I wanted to touch on it because obviously you guys are here. Did you feel like you were part of the year of return, or did you feel like you were distant because? I'm wondering whether the locals were able to connect with the people that actually came here, Pamela. And that has been the feedback of a lot of people. They feel that they were not really a part of this. But see, if we speak with authorities, we were not their targets. Okay. Extensive marketing was done outside the shores of Ghana. Yeah. They went from country to country speaking to, and, and ambassadors or who were, people outside the country were really working on the ground to ensure that people come back return to the country. So in as much as we are the immediate target, we were not in the bigger picture. Okay. We really were not in the bigger picture. But a few times I have reported on, on e events surrounding the year of return. For instance, they held a program at Jamestown and um, they managed to bring a lot of, you know, these guys to be a part of it. So at least they felt a part of, of, of the whole thing, but they really were not the focus for 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 the whole program they had so um i, I can understand Ghanaians when they say oh they didn't feel part and all of that we were not the target it's as simple as that. as simple as that yeah. we, we we are not returning anywhere we're already here <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah. well, I'm, I'm t i mean i'm talking about people being able to capitalize mm. on the year of return you know the um what how would i put it in terms of productivity, economically, how people will benefit from it, the local people. Because a lot of people tend to go to the restaurants, yeah. whereas the real traditional food, it's almost as if they were more or less left behind. Would you agree to that? <laughs> well, I think it's a bit different because if I'm coming to Ghana and then I'm a foreigner, Mm. Uh, definitely, I, I, I've spoken to one or two guys, yeah. and then they pointed me to go here, pass here, and all that. One thing that uh, actually got to me, I realized people were tagging the whole slavery thing. Yeah. So some people just came here because of the whole slavery. When they came, 
For example, when TI came, his first destination was Elmina Castle. Yeah. Mm. Just to learn about the slave. I think Luda Chris did the same thing. Mm. And then even in the US, this guy, uh, Ibro, Ibro in the Ibro, morning. Yeah. Okay. He made mention about it and it was more of the slavery. Yeah. And then you know, I think that helped us in a way because it linked when you talk about slavery in the US and you're a black American, mm -hmm. you always feel some way. So you just want to come yeah. and experience. So I felt I felt like the whole year of return was in two parts. Okay. But then the other side I paid attention to was the slavery part. Yeah. Everybody wanted to come and learn mm -hmm. what really happened. Yeah. So I think that was it. In a way, negative side of the whole thing. Okay. Because we are in a country and then we feel like we were slaves. We know we're slaves. But then I don't think slavery should be the only option for you to come to the country. At least we have good stuff around mm -hmm. that you can pay attention to. Uh, so I think that was the only side. But then me being part of it, well, hmm. There were a lot of events, and then if you realize, uh, people were a bit scared to even go out. Yeah. Uh, if you if you check on social media, DKB did a, a funny short video. Mm -hmm. Was a taxi driver, and then he asked the taxi driver he wanted to go to. Let's say we are in Abilene Bay now. Is it the Joe Luan? one? Joe Luan, <laughs> you see. So <laughs> people were trying to take advantage. Yeah, yeah. And then it happened so many times. We had Motombo. Yeah. And his own issue with a girl and all that. So I think people were trying to capitalize, but boys were trying to dupe people in a way. Yeah. And then I think it sent bad signals in terms of somebody wanting to come to our country. So I think that was the only thing. I okay, let's look at some of the events that took place. We had um, Afro Nation, you had, is it Afro Cella, Dirty Rave. I know you went to some of these. Went all of them. You went to all of them? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so from that standpoint, yeah, um, yeah. How, how, how did you see it? Well, I, I, from that standpoint, yeah. I would have to disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it was a totally different experience. Yeah. Because, yes, people came for slavery, but at the end of the day, when they came, they got to see Ghana and they got to see the beautiful side of Ghana. They got to see the culture. They got to meet the people. Prior to that, Conan O'Brien was here. I don't know if you saw that video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was here. He was yeah. in the market. He yeah. was having fun. So I don't know. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> so, you see, at the end of the day, people came for a year of return for slavery, but then they came and then they got to experience the culture. Cause I have friends who came from Suriname mm -hmm. and then they were always in the marketplaces. They were, it wasn't even about the bougie places or the nice things. They wanted to experience Jamestown. They wanted to go to Osu, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that's very interesting because even some of us that live here, we don't even want to go to those places, but then they wanted to see what was there, you know? And I think that's very interesting. And in terms of the shows, mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> I had so much fun. If you guys didn't come, there, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I think I think because because it was on such a large scale, the the management was not just Ghanaian. I feel like it was a collaboration. I feel like it was done very very well. I think everything was executed very well. Like Dirty Rave, like mm -hmm. when I was there, some of the shows I asked my friend, I was like, "Are we still in Ghana?" Because there were so many different people around and it was so so well organized, I was surprised Ghanaians could do something like that. So it makes me ask myself, what have been what have we been waiting for? So does that mean we always have to wait for foreigners to come to the country before we do something nice for ourselves? Or no, like I saw bins in the at the beach. Do you get me? Like they were at different, like every 20 meters you see a bin at the beach in Ghana. So people would not throw them in Ghana, Ghana. yes. Wow. It's like and, and 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 it was fun. It was fun. Security was was tight. It's just that I didn't I wasn't taking my car when I was going for those shows because mm -hmm. I wanted to avoid traffic. That was the only thing. If if the traffic could be controlled or if something could be done about the roads or or, or something, I think it would have been great. But besides that I I, I had a lot. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I, had, I had a lot of fun. But see, you're, you're into um, entertainment, and of course, that played a huge role in the year of return, especially with. Um, 80%. Yeah, 80% actually with um, Afro Nation. And it looks as if that. Okay, that's that one gone. It looks as if that there's a shift, especially from um, outside Ghana, where people are trying to connect with their roots. And I spoke to Eddie Caddy, a comedian. And I said, we've always spoken of the unification of Africa, but it looks as if this generation is the music, is the vibe that is actually 
pushing the younger generation to connect. Afro Nation, mm -hmm. of course, it was massive. This is the power of music. And in a way, it will also help Ghana music industry as a whole. Sure, true. Um, um, it was, was a unification, actually, because then Afro Nation brought Ghanaians, Nigerians as well. Edikadi, I think it's from Gambia. Is um, no, DRC. 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 Yes, Congo. Yes, Congo. Yeah. Right. So we, we had a variety yeah. in there as well. Edikadi, people, people they look for him. Really? Yeah, really <laughs> the MCD, they were really looking for him though. Really? It was just on the side. But it was it was fun. I mean, um I didn't attend, sorry. Uh, no, like, sorry. I mean, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Because <laughs> now I'm thinking of 20 meters away beans. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, but it, it, all, it all adds up to it. If if okay, people don't know Chris, Chris is a friend in Ghana. He was coming to my house, I'll just fix the lawn for him. If Joe's is coming to my house. I'll fix the back to make sure things. Yeah. It's 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 a thing. I mean, I don't I, I don't want to say it's a Ghanaian thing, but it it depends on who you are expecting and the preparations you make for it. So I remember Afro Nation started their stage. I think a week to the event, then they started getting hits from. Uh, I think we're having um, legal issues okay. with the venue and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They saw beyond that. They 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 made sure they put out a good show. Um, everything was organized, like so organized. Uh, we didn't hear anything bad. I, let me ask you, how was security like? Security was tight. So no kwashi level? Nah, you know we try. Sure. Then, then, no, then. there were soldiers and police. Like, there were so many of them there. Mm -hmm. Like, I got checked for a bomb. Mm. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that was the one of the main um, issues people were talking about, the security mm -hmm. aspect. And I think we, ha we have to commend the sure. security yeah. personnel yeah. for what, you know, for what happened because I don't know, I didn't hear anything bad happening to anyone yeah. here. And, and, and I also realized um, there was a a deliberate effort to make sure they, they, they had a certain level of or class of people okay. at these events. Okay. So one way to curb that or to measure that is through ticketing. Mm -hmm. So they used a different approach to the ticketing. And, and, and I'd say for a normal Ghanaian event, I think the highest you ever go for probably be a hundred cities. Okay. okay. Do the conversion, right? Yeah. And and I realized this one was way up. Than the, than the than the average. Yeah. Okay. So you know my normal. Okay. See Ashaman that? boys, my uh, normal Bima boys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Won't be there. So they know they they, they knew the target audience exactly. who yeah. they were going for. Yeah. yeah. I beg you, I'm Ashaman boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they didn't want us to come, mm -hmm. so we didn't show up. That's why I didn't come. That's why I said was security. <laughs> 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 you get it. So, of course. So you know you are paying. Uh, uh, 400 CDs. So you know you know what to expect. You, you need to get your money's worth. Yeah. If Sakodie um, hosted a, a show like Rapaulik, mm -hmm. and Inshallah, he was supposed to be on the Afro Nation, but then he had to do his own show. Yeah. That's why he backed that. So Sakodie also equally gave, a, gave out a, a great event. That's Rapaulik as well. Okay. Though it was, it was like a night event, yeah. but Afro Nation is like a four day event. You can still compare it in terms of uh, the turnout and the expectations for that because his tickets were sold out even before the show started and all and it's very commendable um i don't know okay so aside conan o'brien who did the song with kwami yuji mm -hmm. we had um recrossing guy yes that was the theory right yeah the theory <laughs> quite this one that you didn't come <laughs> <laughs> but that's um, fine i'm not sure cj began had a song with him nah. and if he didn't who was able to squeeze in something there okay these are some of the things we look out for because anytime some of these big artists come to Gandhi, they, they we end up getting a collab or two. Yeah. Okay. From Bini Man to Popcorn, uh, it's even I think he left, but then he even acquired a house here in Ghana as well. Mm -hmm. So economically, it's good. I have a friend who is an Uber driver. Okay. The whole of the Christmas, we didn't get to see him. We call him. I, I make busy. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he had uh, this uh, returnees, and yeah. he was just around with them for like five days straight. He sold his car. Uh, so this car, yeah, so this wow! Car. So economically, it's good, yeah. and I don't know if it has changed by then. I I, I heard, also heard that the money you pay for a hotel has also skyrocketed. I don't know if it's come down now. Okay. So that means the accommodation sector also the cash thing mm -hmm. very 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 big as well. And it was a great time for photography as well. Yes. So all these photographers also cash everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So everything. anything around the arts, transportation, um, accommodation sector. I think they they had. For some of us, we couldn't connect. Yeah. 
unless you are supposed to be at an event. Okay. We didn't actually, I didn't actually feel it, basically. Yeah. Okay. Well, in, in terms of um, productivity in certain parts of the country, you can say that people did benefit mm -hmm. yeah. from it. Yeah. Um, because when you look on social media, it was all about Ghana, yeah. Yeah. all about Ghana. And it can only be a good thing sure. for the country. Yeah. So we all agree? Yeah, sure. And finally, just a quick one on the um, Beyond the Return which is a new initiative from the government yeah. that they're trying to push beyond the return. Um, I don't know what that entails. I haven't really followed it that much. I'm not sure they have really followed it. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was actually beyond their expectation, yeah, yeah, the amount yeah. of people that came yeah. to the country. Um, one worry, though, one worry, though, is um, speaking to some people back home in, in uh, it's funny to say back home, in England, uh, I mean, Ghana. I should say here. But anyway, speaking to some people back home, the worry is Ghana might turn into Ibiza, Ainapa, which is people go there on holidays just to get drunk and do all sorts. What's wrong with that? What's that wrong they're coming people? here in December. People are still traveling outside where they live to go to other countries. To I'm, not first, anyway. first, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised you reacted first with that question. I'm not surprised you reacted first No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make a point. Like, yes. at the end of the day, yeah, fine. People, people, people go to be busy to go and chill every Christmas. People go to Las Vegas to go and chill every Christmas. Is anybody demonizing them for that? No. So if people are coming to Ghana to come and chill, and they are coming and they are staying in hotels and they are using transportation systems and they're buying our food and they're enjoying our culture. I don't see anything wrong with it. And they're doing it in Christmas. It's not like they're quitting their jobs and coming here and there's crime and 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 people are dying. And it's 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 not like that. And Ghana is a very peaceful place. You know, like they need to come. Like I wish they would come because it will get our people to also sit up and actually fix some things that they mm -hmm. did. Like for the first time in my life, I saw a bin at the beach. <laughs> it was shaped. They were shaped like big fishes. It was a recycling um, um oh, wow. thing, okay. you know. So it was it wasn't just yeah, about yeah, yeah, so so basically, yeah. So because even dirty rave, if you bring a certain amount of bottles, like empty bottles mm -hmm. for them to recycle, they give you, I think, one CD or five CDs or something. Wow. You know, mm -hmm. so all these initiatives were taken. So I, I honestly, I feel like if they bring in more people, we will also step up. But at the end of the day, if it's just us, you know, you know, you know, you know our people. You know, <laughs> I mean, come on, let's call it speed and speed. <laughs> See, and and like mm -hmm. Chrissy was saying, even in terms of exposure and putting CJ Bigaman, do you actually know how he met Rick, Rick Ross? Yeah, yeah, Rick yeah. Ross got to the airport and he, oh, he went, he went up to him and he started, yeah. he, he started rapping to him. Okay. Just like that. Like he rapped for like two minutes straight. You know, and it was very beautiful to see Rick Ross come on stage and bring CJ, 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 CJ Bigaman just to come in. It, it was a big deal. It was a very big deal. And I think that's what's supposed to be. That's what's supposed to be about. You know, yeah. you don't have any issues with that? Ghana no, turning no. into a holiday destination where people will come drinking I'm and cool all sorts <laughs> on the streets. Why do you say this? People are actually benefiting. Okay. Yeah, so we can't just put it out there. And, and we're still drinking and chilling yeah. every Friday night. <laughs> anyway. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Boys so we're just going on a larger scale like, doing uh, Christmas and that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't yeah. think there's any problem so, with that. Yeah. You know? We don't we don't even really have a choice like that. If it, it's actually <laughs> a pleasure we have in them. Yeah. Because it will still expose us in any way. Oh, exactly. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um I think we're gonna draw um um, a line under this subject here and move on to the next subject. I think we've spoken about this. Um, it was a peaceful event all over from Cape Coast to Elmina Castle to all the clubs and restaurants here and the hotels. I mean, it was peaceful. You go on social media and look at it and you be the judge. It was a very successful initiative here in Ghana. Like Jeff said, it was the first time he saw a bin in Ghana. Um, <laughs> the beach. <laughs> at the beach. Shaped like a fish. <laughs> Shaped like a fish. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully they might build upon this and we might see more bins across the streets of, if not across the whole of oh. Ghana. We're done on this topic. We'll see you in the next topic.